So what's your name? My name is Kate Benevento. Devontae Green. Annalena Scarberry. Lillian Scarberry. My name is Irma Lopez. My name is Marcus. And what are you doing here? I'm here and painting the mural. Well, mural is about no vaping. Have you used it? Yes, I have four years going, but I quit before the beginning of this year. What got you into it? Well, a lot of stuff got me into it. Pure Fresher was one. Friends around me were using it, so I got into it. Peer pressure is very common amongst people my age, of course. So, and I have felt that pressure sometimes just because there's so many people around me who do it. So I just, I kind of stray from that in the fact that I don't want to harm my body to that extent. I'm pretty good about not accepting peer pressure because I got bullied a lot. So I'm used to like saying, no, I'm not doing that. You told me a story a while ago and it was about your coach that took you to the hospital. Yeah, he told me to go to the hospital. I couldn't do no practice. I threw up twice and I couldn't feel anything. My chest was that bad in pain. All that from vaping? Yeah. What's your name? Paris. And you are back. I'm back, yes. I'm back with Hope Through Art. So you're back as an intern? Yes, back as an intern. Like, I just demonstrate how to do something, and then they're just like, okay, give me the paintbrush. And they take it, and then they'll do it, and they do a great job. It's just like, Paris, 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 Paris. Oh, I need you to help me with this. I need you to get me this. And, but it's still really fun. It's still really cool. And I still get to be part of the project. You're getting on up and down. <laughs> Tell me what's your favorite thing that you've learned from this program? Just kind of learning more about the industry and techniques and also kind of what that's like working with other people. I feel like that's that's really awesome. I learned a lot. I learned that like not always do you need to be focused on one spot. You need to take back and look at the broader look because if you're just focusing on one puzzle piece, you could be missing other puzzle pieces and then it won't fit together right. That perfectionism doesn't need to be an art. I'm a perfectionist and everything has to be perfect and so Shane said it doesn't have to be perfect, art will be good either way. I really like spray painting. I really got into that. When I'm spray painting, I see different colors blending and if I finally like it, I'm going to paint over it and do it again. What do you think about Shane? Oh, he's awesome. He's excited. He like wants to teach us. I like his creativity and he has no problem changing things up on the fly and making something better than it already is. I was a bit skeptical in the beginning. We would joke like, oh, he's gonna come in and fix all the mistakes at night while like while we're sleeping and then we come back and do just like amazing mural. But I really like how he's like, let us take the lead. He really cares about the kids' education and about putting the message through children. Everybody hears adults, oh, don't vape, it's bad for you. But if you are hearing it from kids who've had experience with it, it's just a lot more powerful. So the day I quit, I walked into school, I saw Mr. Edgar, and I said, this is it, and I threw in the trash. Walked away, threw everything away. How was it quitting? <sighs> Terrible. I had days where I needed to take a hit, but my uncle didn't let me get a hit. For like three months, I kept craving. Do you still crave it sometimes? No. Not at all?
I gotta start laughing. <laughs> yeah. And I just wish I was sick. Right, we're done. That was great. That was a great interview. Yeah. You did great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm done. That's it. That was great. Oh you know how hard that was, I'm still recording. That's going in the hand. I don't care. I blame you. <laughs> She's out. She's That's done. That's the problem. <laughs>